Stop what you're doing, chill out for just a minute, and put away your credit card. I'm about to save you some cash. This is Black Friday weekend. All the big Black Friday and Cyber Monday deals are out, and what people tend to do is go into a buying frenzy and buy a bunch of stuff that maybe they don't need or maybe they don't want because they see it on sale. So in this video, we're going to cover what to buy and what not to buy on Black Friday weekend. And we're starting off right here on Amazon with an Atoto Double Din Wireless CarPlay and Wireless Android Auto head unit. I am not a fan of this brand. I tested one of these out a while back and it let out a puff of smoke when I fired it up. Nothing bad happened. It didn't catch on fire. Something internally just shorted out. And I'm not trying to pick on this brand right here. I am just no longer a fan of any of the Android based head units you can get off of Amazon for several reasons. And the biggest reason is customer support. Let me show you what I mean. If you get off of Amazon and head over to Crutchfield for just a little bit more money, you can get this Boss Audio Android Auto wireless Apple CarPlay. Both these are wireless for a little bit more money. It does have a reputation and it's not really a great reputation, but the beauty of this is you can buy it from Crutchfield and Crutchfield has a great return policy. And more importantly, Crutchfield will make sure that you have all of the stuff you need in order to install it. The dash kit to put the radio in the dash, the wire harnesses, and the instructions to take your car apart. If you're buying the generic brands from China off of Amazon, you're on your own. It's worth it to pay more to get the customer support. While the Atoto is a no-go and the Boss is a maybe, I would encourage you to maybe spend a little bit more money and jump up to this JVC head unit. Again, wireless Android Auto and wireless CarPlay. It's discounted for Black Friday. While we're on the Crutchfield website, let's talk amplifiers. This right here is the Sound Ordnance M350-1. I tested this on my channel and it does not make its rated power. It's not a bad amplifier, but it is a no-go for me because at $150, it's just underpowered. What I'm gonna recommend you do instead is spend a little bit more money and maybe if you're shopping on Crutchfield to spend 50 bucks more and get this Alpine amplifier. This Alpine amplifier is 600 watts RMS into two ohms. I have an older version of this amplifier. It's known to make its power. It's not going to let you down. So this right here is a much better alternative if you're over on Crutchfield shopping for an amplifier. Here's a no-go. I tested this one as well. In fact, if you're browsing through Amazon, you're finding Black Friday deals on things. Any of these old school looking two channel, allegedly 1000 watt amplifiers, these are all technology from the 90s. Hard pass on all of these amplifiers. Stay away from Crunch, stay away from Boss, and stay away from DuPont when you're looking for your amplifiers. These are a no-go even if they're deeply discounted for Black Friday. Here is a go. This is a good amplifier right here. Stinger, which is the same company that makes audio control, has come up with this line of amplifiers that all make more than a rated power. They tons of features and they're rock solid amplifiers. So this is a definite go, but none of these are my absolute favorite amplifier, which is this one right here. This is the JP8 version 1.5 from Down for Sound. In my opinion, this is the best amplifier out there. It lands right in that sweet spot. It's an 800 watt on the surface amplifier. So you're right at that point where you don't need to spend a bunch of money on big upgrades to your electrical system to make the amp operate. But this thing will every bit do 1200 watts if you give it enough juice. So if you do upgrade your electrical system, you can get a whole lot more power out of this amp. Price for performance, it's hard to beat. Price for features, it's hard to beat. It's on sale right now, 170 bucks is the all time low price for this amplifier. If you've been eyeballing one of these, don't sit on it any longer, get it, get it right now. So you've got an amplifier, now you need some wire. So here we got a Black Friday deal, $20.39 for an eight gauge amp kit. This is a no go. Y'all, this is the number one selling amp kit on Amazon because it's cheap, not because it's good. The power wire in this amp kit is undersized. The speaker wire is undersized. It's only going to work if you're using the smallest, cheapest amplifiers. I'm not going to recommend it. Stay away from this wire kit. Now, just to show you that I'm not a complete Crutchfield fanboy, here's a kit from Crutchfield. This is an 8 gauge kit from Kicker, and it's got a nice ANL fuse, everything you need, good solid interconnects, great quality, but it's $140, y'all. $140. So, if you're over on Crutchfield shopping for your head unit and your amplifier, 
wire and you find what you like, skip right over Crutchfield to get your wire. They're not going to give you the best deal on wire. They do have some wire that's cheaper than this, but the best wire out there right now is this stuff right here. This is the down for sound wire. An 8 gauge kit is just under 40 bucks, deeply discounted for Black Friday, but this is 8 gauges of tinned oxygen free copper wire. That's the best kind of wire. It's been tinned, so it's going to corrode less. The 8 gauge kit is just under 40 bucks. Again, deep discount for Black Friday. Keep in mind, they also offer a CCA kit. Do not get the CCA kit. Stick with the OFC. OFC carries more current. I've got a whole video on that. I'll give you a link up here on the screen somewhere. And if you need a bigger kit, jump up to the four gauge kit. How about some speakers? You're browsing Black Friday deals and you find these boss speakers for $24.19. And again, I'm not a brand hater. I'm not hating on these because they're boss. I'm hating on these because they're cheap and they're not very good. And if all you want to do is replace some blown speakers, I guess they'll do the job, but this is not going to give you any kind of sound quality. Yeah, get the Boss head unit if you're trying to save a little bit of money, but skip over the Boss speakers. Maybe instead consider these Infinities. These are Infinity Component 6x9. So if you've got a 6x9 opening in your door and a place to put a tweeter, these are awesome. They also have these in a 6.5 and, and a 5 and a quarter. Half off, y'all. Half off of some really good Infinity Reference Series speakers. If you're looking at speakers, skip over the Boss and see if you can find some of these Infinity Primus speakers, you're going to get a big jump up in sound quality. Now, if you're looking for something more high end, I'm going to recommend you head back over to Crutchville and check out their Morels. They're running some really deep discounts on the Morel speakers at the moment as part of their Black Friday and Cyber Monday deals. And one thing that I want to point out to you is that Crutchfield also is going to hook you up with the installation gear. I recommend that you buy your car speakers, your door speakers, your dash speakers, that kind of thing from Crutchfield because they're going to guide you in the right direction so that you have all the little parts you need to put things together. And that's going to save you a lot of time and time is money. So you're definitely better off shopping at Crutchfield versus Amazon simply to get the installation parts. So if you go back over to Amazon and buy these boss speakers for $25, you're going to spend another 10 bucks on install parts before you can even put them in your car. And Crutchfield will give you instructions on how to get your door apart. Let's talk subwoofers. Here is a do not buy. I am not a fan of these subs right here. Yes, they're dirt cheap, $80 for a pair of 12 inch subwoofers. What I'm gonna recommend instead is to spend a little bit more money and get some really good subwoofers. Head back over to Down for Sound and get a pair of these Sundown 212 LCS series subwoofers. This is a much better deal than those $80 subwoofer boxes from Amazon. If you're just looking for the really cheap stuff, right here is an 8 inch compact underseat subwoofer from H. Yanka. Now I've tested H. Yanka subwoofers before and to me they work just fine. I have no problem with them, but I'm not a big fan of this style of enclosure. Any brand, these slim underseat boxes right here are a hard pass. They don't have enough cone area. They don't have a big enough enclosure. You see simply can't get a lot of bass out of these. This is what you buy if you find yourself in something like a Mazda Miata and your only choice is something like this that can fit under the seat. For everybody else, this is a hard pass. Do not buy anything of this style. Not picking on this brand, it's the style that you need to avoid. If you're looking for small subs, maybe consider these Sundown Audio E-Series 8-inch subwoofers. They are discounted right now for Black Friday and they're a good deal. And of course, I'm a big fan of Savard. I've got a discount code for Savard speakers down in the video video description. If you're looking for a good deal on a great sub, this right here is my recommendation. This is the Kicker Comp R12. I've run one of these before. I absolutely love this subwoofer. It's in that sweet spot. It's a 500 watt RMS subwoofer, so you don't need a huge amp or a huge electrical system to run it. Just put this thing in a quality enclosure, maybe pair it with that Alpine amp that I showed you earlier, and you are good to go. At $127.96, this thing is deeply discounted, and it is a must buy at this price. To learn more about their products, I recommend make sure you check the links in the video description or click on this subscribe button right here and check out the rest of my channel